Hello, I'm Adrian, and today we're taking an in-depth look at Max's fighting style in the 2015 Avalanche Studios video game, Mad Max. In search of fuel, highway patrol officer turned survivalist Max Rokotansky runs into a group of war boys, who proceed to steal everything from him and leave him for dead. Now he must work his way back in his quest for vengeance with the help of an oddball mechanic named Chum Bucket and his newly acquired loyal dog Dinky D. Together they embark on a quest to obtain and upgrade his car and lifeline in this world, the Magnum Opus, as well as engage in a series of intense and violent scraps with the other inhabitants of this post-apocalyptic world. If you're a fan of action films and video games, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and watching my other videos, as I've already analyzed other awesome video game fighters, including Lara Croft from the Tomb Raider series and Solid Snake from the Metal Gear series. But today, we will be focusing exclusively on Mad Max. The goal of these videos is to figure out just how many fighting styles our combatant is familiar with by analyzing the specific moves featured in their footage and pairing them with the martial art or fighting style which most aptly represents those moves. There's a huge amount of crossover in martial arts techniques, and a technique that is present in one fighting style may also be present in another, such as a roundhouse kick being present in multiple martial arts. But in order to not give combatants multiple fighting styles for the sake of variety, I have instead opted to list the most apt fighting style that best represents that particular character, technique, or set of techniques. I highly recommend playing the Mad Max video game, as this video will analyze footage from said game. Fighting styles that Max may know in any other form of media, such as the films, do not count. Without further ado, let's take a look at how many fighting styles Max knows. As mentioned earlier, Mad Max is a survivalist. He's living in a world where roughly 90% of its inhabitants are openly violent and hostile towards each other and would like nothing more than to end him and steal everything. As such, he uses an incredibly aggressive and effective fighting style for dealing with multiple attackers. But what exactly is this fighting style based on? Max used to be a highway patrol officer, which indicates that he has had some form of martial arts training and is comfortable driving vehicles at high speeds while in pursuit. Two extremely useful skills for him to have in this unforgiving barren wasteland. Highway patrol officers, such as the ones in California, have been known to receive training by the Marines with their highly refined combat system, known as Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, or MCMAP for short. The U.S. Marines are a branch of the United States Armed Forces and are responsible for conducting expeditionary and amphibious operations. They are part of the four armed service branches in the U.S. Department of Defense and are extremely well trained. The training history of this branch has changed throughout the years, but what is currently being taught to recruits is a system called the Marine Corps Martial Arts Program or MCMAP for short. According to their official mission statement, it's a whole marine program which emphasizes a complete development of a professional warrior. It's designed to improve the warfighting capability of individual marines and units. It's not a sport, but a specifically designed distinctively weapons-based system. If you've seen my Solid Snake Fighting Styles episode, you can probably gather that the program is a real-world CQC system, or close quarters combat system. CQC is a tactical concept that involves physical confrontation between several combatants, usually of small units, engaging the enemy with personal weapons at a short range. It has a huge emphasis in dealing with weapons in the battlefield, as you will rarely run into an instance of facing another combatant that has no weapons at his disposition. One of the most important components of a CQC system are the traditional martial arts it draws from. For example, Krav Maga draws heavily from martial arts such as boxing and Muay Thai. The Marine Corps martial arts program draws a huge amount of influences from various martial arts we've seen on fighting styles, such as boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Judo, Muay Thai, Karate, Taekwondo, and even Krav Maga itself, among many others. So now that we have a basic understanding of what's going on with this style, let's take a look at how Max puts this style into practice. Boxing is one of the ingredients of McMap and shows up in Max's arsenal as his primary striking attack of choice. He frequently keeps his hands up near his face and launches an untold amount of punches including crosses, hooks, and uppercuts to beat down his opponents with his fists of fury. However, that being said, he is by no account a professional boxer and frequently overthrows his punches with strong haymakers or strikes intended to completely incapacitate his opponent. And although this does result in strong punches, it also leaves him open for counterattacks. That being said, he usually reserves this for the last man standing in a group. Max isn't afraid to mix up his punches with several other striking tools available to him. He also launches into elbow strikes, such as the horizontal elbow, as well as the vertical elbow, also known as a 9-5 to five elbow, and the spinning elbow strike. When he's put into a bear hug, one of his escapes is to execute a strong reverse elbow strike. 
Elbows are seen in several martial arts, most prominently in Muay Thai, but they also make an appearance in arts such as Taekwondo. Both Muay Thai and Taekwondo are part of McMap. Besides throwing elbows, Max is also familiar with several other hand striking techniques. One such technique is a palm strike, in which you hit the opponent using the underside of your hand. It's a very formal technique seen in arts such as karate and taekwondo, but it's incredibly useful since it's actually less risky to throw than a punch and can inflict serious damage on your opponent. Mad Max is also known to throw spinning back fists to wail on his enemies. Back fists are seen in karate and some Krav Maga schools teach them as well. This strike right here is formally seen in Taekwondo believe it or not, as I just trained in it while preparing for my second Dan exam. Karate, Krav Maga and Taekwondo are once again part of McMap. To Max, his whole body is a weapon, and that includes using his head, figuratively and literally. Although headbutts are pretty risky to both the one throwing it and the one on the receiving end, they are practiced in several CQC styles, including Krav Maga and McMap. In Max's case, he uses it as both a striking tool and even as a way to get out of a bear hug. Max is also familiar with several popular kicks seen in Taekwondo, Karate, Muay Thai, and Krav Maga, all of which fall under McMap. Perhaps the very first kick that should be mentioned is the The push kick. Probably the most popular and easiest kick to execute. It serves to both inflict heavy damage on your opponent as well as create distance. It has several names across several martial arts. It's known as a teep in Muay Thai, for example. Another kick Max uses is the side kick, although he uses a version of it known as Kansetsu Geri in Karate, which is a low side kick. Besides the low side kick, Max can also launch himself into what is famously known as a drop kick in pro wrestling, but known as a double side kick in arts such as Taekwondo. Leaning into the Muay Thai influence of McMap, Max is also seen executing knee strikes, a fantastic close quarters tool. Among all these kicks, this being Max, he also has several brutal variations. He can execute a push kick to the ground, also known as just a stump, in order to cave his enemy's face in, as well as attack his opponents who have fallen on the ground with a low front kick, sometimes known as a soccer kick. Or he can also execute a series of front kicks to a man's most sensitive area when he is fully enraged. Kicking the family jewels is actually one of the most frequently seen techniques in Krav Maga. Max also knows quite a few grappling techniques from both Jiu Jitsu and Judo. Max sometimes launches into this throw right here. It's known as an Ura Nage in Judo and is more popularly known as a belly to back suplex. If he has a running start, he may just dive into a double leg takedown and quickly turn it into a devastating throw. He can also execute a modified Tayotoshi, and in this case, he dives right into a fireman carry throw, or a kataguruma, as it's known in judo. Max is also a fan of executing the classic movie and video game variation of a rear naked choke where you yank the neck to crack it. Perhaps Max's most spectacular counter is this one right here, where he uses a man's arm as a way to swing his legs over his head and then brings them down to the ground to complete the armbar. It's known as a flying armbar in Jiu Jitsu and a Tobi Juji Gatame in Judo. It's worth mentioning that technique was banned in judo competitions in 2019 due to how dangerous it is to execute for both the attacker and the receiver. Once again, Jiu Jitsu and Judo are both part of McMap. Max can also execute what is known as a guillotine choke in Jiu Jitsu, where you place the opponent's head in between your arm. Normally you just knock out your opponent if you squeeze long enough, but in typical brutal video game fashion, Max instead takes the opportunity to break yet another neck. He also frequently takes advantage of the environment, as if his opponent is up against a wall or an object, you can bet your bottom dollar that he will use said wall or object to help him in the fight. In this instance, he throws a knife hand at the opponent's neck. Look up Marine Corps knife hands if you'd like to see a first-hand demonstration of just how effective this simple strike can be, and if it's imperfectly with his McMap background. But besides making a perfect weapon of himself, just like Jeff Speakman in the 1991 classic The Perfect Weapon, Max is more than familiar with firearms and several melee weapons as well. He can not only block and disarm melee weapons, but actually turn the tables and use them against the enemies himself. He's also surprisingly skilled at launching javelins, and this is either a skill he picked up in high school or college track and field, or perhaps something he learned living in the post-apocalyptic wasteland given his skill with weapons. Melee disarms are absolutely vital in any CQC system, as they usually assume the opponent is armed, either with a melee weapon or an actual firearm. Max can also carry shivs with him, and several combos can be ended with a shift finisher, which naturally ends the fight with said opponent. 
As a former highway patrol officer, it makes sense to assume that he has had training with firearms and other weapons, and although bullets are an extreme rarity in this world, whenever he gets a few, he makes sure to make the best of it with well-placed shots. He even has training with using sniper rifles, as he can easily make the shot from his car when taking out his enemies on watchtowers. He won't be getting combat shooting, or any skill with the knife, as these are both naturally part of his CQC training. But Max is one part human and one part machine, as that is how intricately linked he is to his car. The magnum opus that he acquires parts for and has Chumbucket assemble is his lifeline to him surviving in this harsh world. Not only does it get him from point A to B, it gives him a fighting chance against everyone else in this world who has turned their car into a tank. Max can use his car as a weapon in a variety of ways, whether it be ramming into his enemies, using it to disarm other vehicles, and dozens of other creative ways where he can also combine his knowledge of firearms. There is no real world term for car combat, as this is usually seen in films and video games, like the incredible end sequence of Die Another Day, the Mad Max film series, and games such as Twisted Metal. So we'll go with the term used in the John Wick films, and that is car food. In conclusion, how many fighting styles does Max Rokotansky know in the 2015 video game Mad Max? They are. Marine Corps Martial Arts Program, and Carfu. For a grand total of two fighting styles. I'd like to thank each one of my Patreon members as their contribution helped in the making of this video. If you'd like to contribute and appear in the credits in the future, my Patreon page is Godzilla Rex and it's in the description below. What did you think of the Mad Max video game? What other characters should I analyze next? Let me know in the comments below, subscribe for more awesome videos, and see you next time.